What can we do about menopausal belly fat? It's one of those annoying things that come with perimenopause, the fact that where women hold fat changes. So during our premenopausal years, women tend to preferentially hold fat around their bottom and their hips and maybe their inner thighs. And as menopause starts to approach, that often shifts, leading to a change in body shape and an increase in belly fat. And belly fat in turn can be associated with more health risks. So what can we do about about it. First up is it's important to remember that as we age our metabolism does slow down so we should be year on year just slightly decreasing our calorie consumption so if you're noticing that you're starting to gain central belly fat it is worth re-evaluating your diet and one easy way to address the fact that we are eating more calories than we often need in perimenopause is to think about something like intermittent fasting and this can be as simple as skipping breakfast having two good meals a day and focusing on eating with within a say 16 hour window. This helps because you're maybe cutting back on one meal a day and also fasting in its own right has been shown to have positive effects like insulin resistance. And insulin resistance is another thing that increases through perimenopause and as we get older that can make belly fat more of a problem. It's also worth thinking about what you're eating, thinking about minimizing your sugar intake, your alcohol intake and really focusing on a high protein diet. And a high protein diet will also help maintain your hormonal health. So that's a really key thing just to think about what you are putting through your lips so that you're eating the right kinds of food rather than the wrong ones. Another thing that can often become a problem for many women during perimenopause is sleep. If you're not sleeping well, it's also a high risk factor for gaining weight. So thinking about what you can do to improve your sleep habits and your sleep hygiene will take you a really long way. Moving more is also important, but not necessarily in the way we think it's not about going into the gym and doing loads and loads of high intensity exercise. In fact, weight bearing exercise or weight training is actually especially important in perimenopause and in the years beyond to help us maintain our muscle mass, which naturally drops, and also our bone density. But thinking about moderate intensity exercise, whether that's walking or dancing, but generally just moving more think about movement rather than about exercise i would say obviously the other thing you can consider in terms of treatment is hormone replacement therapy and this can be helpful for many women in helping to shift stubborn pounds but just being on hrt doesn't mitigate those lifestyle factors that i've talked about and those are all really important to think about there are also treatments that can help if you have stubborn pockets of fat that no matter what you've tried with diet and lifestyle are still present then you can think about whether or not treatments like cool sculpting to reduce those stubborn pockets could be an option for you. If this content has been useful for you, please give it a thumbs up or send me a little message below. And please do subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this.